Hi everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video. It is something I've never done before and that is going to be a designer jewelry collection video. So I've been asked to do this one a couple of different times now, but I always think Oh, I don't have enough jewelry to show you guys. I'm not really a jewelry person. So, you know, I've just put off making a video like this, but I actually have put together all of my designer jewelry and I think I have a decent amount now. I've been collecting for a few years now. And then recently I've just been, you know, embracing wearing jewelry more. So I thought this would be the perfect time to show you guys my designer jewelry collection. I have things from Dior and Chanel and Vivian Westwood and also Hermes and yeah I was just so surprised by how many pieces I actually do have. Now speaking of luxury jewelry I thought I would take the opportunity to thank today's sponsor which is Idol. So if you've never heard of Idol before, they are a revolutionary company that specializes in man-made diamonds. I've received a package from them, so let's just unbox it together. First, they sent me a couple of free goodies. So this doesn't come every time. They just included this little um, pocket handheld mirror and also a scrunchie. The jewelry that they gave me came in this pouch, which I just think is really nice. So you automatically have a way to store it. The first piece that they've sent me is this beautiful necklace. All of the pieces that I've chosen today are in rose gold. They use 100% traceable 14K solid gold, which is amazing because it means you can wear it in the shower, you can wear it to the gym, you never have to take it off and it won't discolor. This necklace is so cute and dainty and I absolutely love the rose gold, but what I'm really excited for are these earrings that they've sent me. So the thing that is the most unique about this company and the thing that I love the most is that their jewelry is actually modular. So what that means, for example, is you get a stud. This is the one that they've sent me and just look at how this diamond shines. It's so beautiful. So of course you can wear the stud on its own, but then you can buy pieces like this to add on to these studs. Just look at how easily you can change your look by just adding an add-on. As you can see, the sparkle on these diamonds are amazing. Like I mentioned before, these are lab-grown diamonds, so they are not mined, which means that they use less of the Earth's energy to make, making them a more eco-friendly alternative. I think this one is my favorite out of all the pieces that they've sent me. I really, really love this ear cuff. I've always wanted to get my ear pierced right there, but I've always been too scared. So I think that this is the perfect like solution to that. So they do have multiple piercings on each ear. I thought it would be fun to show you guys what um, a couple of the pieces look like combined. I seriously am so in love with this jewelry. It is so well made. And then the best part about idle jewelry is that they do not mark up their prices. So you get really high quality jewelry without the crazy prices. Plus, if you go to the website, there's always amazing promotions and free goodies. Idol Jewelry brings accessible prices for real diamonds that are sustainable and lab-grown. And the modularity of their items is so unique. I definitely want to get more add-ons for these studs. If you are interested in Idol Jewelry, please go check out the link below. Thank you so, so much to Idol Jewelry for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on to the rest of my jewelry collection. All right, so for my jewelry collection, I thought I would start out with the brand Vivian Westwood because I think that um, Vivian Westwood is one of those brands that really started off my love for jewelry. But it's just one of those brands that I've literally admired like since middle school, since I was reading like manga and watching anime and like the manga Nana highly featured Vivian Westwood. I think that's where my love of the brand comes from. So the first piece that I have from Vivian Westwood is this beautiful um, pearl gold orb necklace. So this is my most extra piece of jewelry that I have, but I absolutely love it. I think that this is not only really elegant, but it's also got like an edgy vibe to it because of how like large and chunky it is. It literally goes so well with my dress that I'm wearing today and I haven't worn it yet, but I figure I'd wear it on special occasions. Maybe if I go to a Christmas party or something like that. Um, it's just one of those pieces that is um, too like bold and a statement to be worn like every day or you know what you can wear every day but for me that is why I haven't really worn this yet now on the flip side of that I have a pair of Vivian Westwood earrings that I've literally worn so much 
that one of the sides actually broke but when I wear these I normally only wear like one side anyways and then I like to switch it up on the other side because I just think that this is also like a statement earring and I just think it looks cool if you like mix and match earrings if any of you guys have an idea about how I can fix this one please let me know I also have this Vivian Westwood ring that I've absolutely worn to death but the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it also has like her little orb symbol in the middle. Now this one was gold plated, but underneath it is sterling silver. So because I've worn this so much, the gold has started to rub off a little bit. But the fact that it is silver um, underneath makes it so that there is like no smell or anything, which I'm just super sensitive about. All right, next I do have a few pieces from Dior that I wanted to talk about. The first piece are these um, tribal earrings. Now these ones just have a little CD dangling from them and then also a little spike. So I actually got these on our trip to London for our baby moon last year now and I fell in love with these earrings because I've always wanted a pair of Dior Tribals. I love how there is like the um, like pearl in the front and the pearl on the back. And when I saw these with a the little dangling stud on them, I just knew that they were for me. You guys know I love more of like a classic but also edgy style and with the pearls and the stud, I think that is like literally the definition of classy but edgy. You can wear them two ways, having the like big pearl in the front or the small pearl in the front. And I just love how classy this looks with a little bit of a twist. The next piece that I have is this Dior ring. Now I've worn this one also so much that the gold plating has started to rub off. I need to get more jewelry. I think that's the thing because I just wear the jewelry that I have so much um, that I need to like really alternate them. I actually like wearing this one in my like wedding band stack. I don't know why. It just goes really, really well um, when I have my like wedding band and engagement ring stacked on top of it. I don't know what compelled me to splurge on this ring, but I just really liked the look of it. I'm really sad that the gold has started to rub off, but I still wear it like every day. And then the last Dior jewelry piece that I have is this pearl choker necklace. A lot of girls I feel like have this on Instagram, so you probably have seen it before, but it's just got this like CD logo in the middle in gold and then um, of course there are pearls ranging from the largest closer to the logo to the smaller ones closer to the sides. I um, love a choker necklace as you can probably tell. My Vivian Westwood necklace is also a choker. I got this one because I do really love you know pearl details and things and I thought that this would be a nice like everyday accessory where like the Vivian Westwood one is more of like a occasion piece and I have worn this piece a lot. I haven't reached for it lately but I think um, now that I've put it on again I'll probably reach for it more. All right next let's move on to Hermes. So my first Hermes piece is this um, gold click H bracelet. Actually, I'm sorry, it's in rose gold and it's paired with this really beautiful light pink color. I wear this bracelet a lot. <laughs> now, what I will say though is that I'm sure you've heard the um, click bracelet gets scratched so easily and um, I was really, really hesitant about buying one because of that, but I really wanted this one because of the rose gold and the pink combination, so I bought it anyway and Yes, mine is very, very scratched up, especially the H, you can tell. Um, I've tried really, really hard to be careful with it, yet there still are scratches on it. So I just think that's inevitable if you do buy this piece. I got mine in the size, I can't see where the size is, but I can see that the color is called Rose Candour. The next Hermes bracelet that I bought is this one. So I think that this one is called the CDC bracelet. So you just wrap it around your wrist like this and I just love the way that this looks and I literally also wear this bracelet all the time. I don't have very much jewelry so the jewelry pieces that I do have I literally wear all the time. This is my favorite color from Hermes which is the Rose Sakura and I'm actually waiting for a special order Birkin in this Swift Rose Sakura color that should be coming soon. This one like my Click H bracelet is also in rose gold and yeah I think this was like my first piece from Hermes that I bought myself and I just absolutely love it. And then my last Hermes piece is my Hermes watch. So this one is a special one because it does have like the little um like crystal embellishments and there is the mother of pearl on the face. Now this one is in silver which means that this is the only silver 
um, piece of jewelry that I own. I didn't like silver before, but now I've been kind of like mixing and matching with like silver hardware on my bags and things like that. So I have the Rose Sakura Swift, again, band on it. I also do have this that comes with it, and this is actually a um, longer strap to make it a double tour bracelet so it'll look kind of like the bracelet that I just showed you. I got both the single strap and the double tour strap because I thought it would be fun to, you know, mix it, match it, and switch it up. Next, let's move on to the only piece of Chanel costume jewelry that I have. So this piece um, you guys may have seen before on my channel because this is the earrings that I wore to my wedding. They are these beautiful light gold double CC earrings with the pearl dangling. And these are literally like my dream earrings. I just wanted a pair so, so bad. And my wedding was literally like the perfect excuse to buy them. And I just thought they went super, super well with my dress. I only wear these on special occasions because they just hold so much sentimental value to me. And I just think that these are also a beautiful statement piece. I haven't worn them in a long time, but because I'm wearing them now, I just really, really want to wear them like tomorrow. Maybe I'll just do it. <laughs> All right, next let's move on to Alexander McQueen. So I only have two pieces from them that I have to share with you today. The first piece is this gold cuff. It is like a double skull cuff in light gold. Now I know that skulls probably aren't your thing. And the thing about these Alexander McQueen pieces that I have are that I think that the like edginess is like very subtle. So if I'm wearing it, like on my wrist like this, I don't think that you can tell that they're skulls, but then when you look up close, you can definitely see, oh hey, that is a little bit edgier. And then the last Alexander McQueen piece that I have is this bracelet that's just got skulls and pearls. Like the other one, if you look at it from far away, you literally cannot tell that there are skulls on it. But yeah, I don't know what it is about like Alexander McQueen, but I'm so drawn to like all of their jewelry and I love how subtle the like skull and edgier details are. I'm actually in the market to buy more jewelry pieces right now and I'm definitely keeping my eye out on Alexander McQueen jewelry. And all right, the last piece of jewelry you will have seen on me in practically every video since I got it because it is this dainty diamond necklace from Tiffany & Co that I actually got from my husband. He gifted this to me a couple of years ago now for Christmas and he is the type of person who doesn't know anything about luxury. He um, never buys luxury so this is like literally the only luxury piece that he's bought for me and I think he did a really really good job picking it out because I absolutely love it. It is a little bit shorter so it does like hang on my neck kind of like a choker which like I said earlier in this video I absolutely love and it is so dainty that I think it goes with literally everything so when I'm wearing jewelry I always like to stack this with any other jewelry pieces that I'm wearing. I think that he did tell me um, the story of like when he went into the store and he was saying he was buying something for his wife and he was really adamant about which piece that he wanted to buy for me because he just knew my style and he knows that I love more like dainty jewelry, especially back then. I'm getting a little bit more into like bolder jewelry now, but yeah, he just wanted a piece that I could wear every day and I think that he did a really good job picking it out. So yes, yeah, so this is my Tiffany & Co necklace. I did have a lot of pieces from Tiffany & Co when I was younger that I was gifted from my dad, but I don't know where those pieces are anymore. I'll have to try to dig those up at my mom's house or something, but I did have like the classic like chain with the heart necklace and matching bracelet and all of that so hopefully I can find those one day and show you guys and all right that was all for my video thank you guys so much for watching are you a fan of jewelry which piece in this video did you find that you liked the best please don't forget to go check out idol jewelry I will leave the link in the description box below if you want to go check out another one of my collection videos I will leave the link here thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye